Hi friends, this is Firearm Pop, and I'm sure if you saw my last video uh, on the H&R 949, you saw I was having a tough time at the range with uh, misfires, and uh, it looked like the, it was a light strike situation. While well, doing some research on the internet, and good old YouTube told me that uh, this gun is prone to a bad or broken uh, mainspring. So we took the screws out and pulled the uh, grips off which are unique because uh, they're one piece of grip going around but anyway we pulled the mainspring out and lo and behold it is broken uh, I don't know how well you can see that but the top of it was broken fits right inside there like that uh, it's supposed to have this little doody hickey on it, uh, somewhere like that. Okay, so we know that that was bad, and went online, and a couple of people even gave me uh, suggestions as to where I can get a new mainspring. And uh, as a matter of fact, I ordered two of them. One of them I got straight from. Uh, eBay and uh, I'm going to show you that here came in this little package uh, I'm going to open it up and that's what it's supposed to look like okay a uh, little different than that one so we're going to install this and I'm not sure if it goes this way or this way but we'll see. Anyway, and I also ordered one, an all steel version that's coming in the mail as well. But I got this one first, so I figured I'd I'd get this installed. Looks like it goes. Can't really see if that's proper. It looks good. There is a pin here that has to be pulled out that will release uh, the spring. And uh Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop. Well, we got her out to the range. We got the new spring in as you just saw. Uh, I have it loaded up with 22s, so we're going to take a few shots and see how she does. We're going to fire the first set, single action. Fire it on one.
Well, hi friends, as you just saw, not happy about the uh, results with that spring in it. And I just received a new one in the mail. This one's all steel. Let's see if we can get a close-up with some light on it, maybe. Uh, so it's an old steel um, mainspring. And uh, we're going to try it. What I'd like to do is the stop that was in before was a lot thicker than the one that's in there now. So I'm hoping that will put a little more pressure on it. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Get this changed out. Unfortunately, you won't be able to tell today uh, if that solves my problem or not. So. Boy, that feels a lot tighter than the last one did. Hi, friends. We're at the range again. We have the... Uh, Harrington and Richardson 949 chambered in 22 long rifle now You just saw the video. I just replaced the mainspring for the second time. So let's see what happens It seemed like it was much stronger, but you don't know until you get out here and fire it. So let's do that now That's much better. Okay, ready to go with the second set of nine. That's what I'm talking about, and that was all double action. Okay, here we go again, all double action. I think by Joe, I think we got it. Just for those who are wondering if I hit anything, that's what my target looks like. I, uh, I didn't count all the hits, but they were all on target. So uh, I'm happy, and uh, when I got more time, I'll spend more time uh, uh, fine-tuning it. I was really not shooting for accuracy, just shooting f uh, to make sure the gun worked. This is Firearm Pop. You be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.